it's time for us to go through the front pages of the newspaper. And of course, I won't be doing this alone. I have Titi here with me. Mm. And uh, we have quite a number of uh, newspapers to look at this morning. Uh, we have um, the, the Nation, Daily Trust, um, Punch, and The Guardian. But we'll start off with Daily Trust. And yeah. Titi, you can take this one. Yeah, I'm going to take it because I find it extremely interesting. The major headline it says here, Domestic airfares trump regional tickets. Did you ever think you would hear that headline? Uh, apparently, Abuja, Lagos Abuja flights cost about 250,000 naira, mm. but uh, Accra, Lagos to Accra, is 233,000 naira. Uh, this is after a, a bit of research. Now, there's an infographic right there on the cover showing us the different prices of different airlines there, of course. We're not mentioning the airlines at this point, but they range from 250,000, 233, 266, and 229,000. I'm not talking about business class here. I'm talking economy. Economy. Um, now, the business class indicated here uh, says it shows the Lagos to Abuja flight at 500,000 naira. Mm. Did you ever think you would hear such high uh, domestic airfare tickets? It's cheaper to leave the country than to go anywhere within. It's uh, a bit alarming. Um, now, we also have um, a byline there. It says, shortage of aircraft hits industry. Uh, and uh, it, there's an article on how to stop racketeering, according to one of the operators right here in the Daily Trust. Now, for other headlines, it says here, after Supreme Court ruling state government, government's race to conduct uh, leg, rather local government polls, a Kano governor signs bill creating three second-class emirates. A Zamfara attack. Five women escape as five men are killed by bandits uh, buried. And uh, right at the bottom there, AFCFTA, uh, Tinubu launches inaugural shipment to Egypt, Kenya, and others. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Trust. Oh, okay. This, um, the domestic airfares yeah. um, being more expensive than, you know, regional airfares, that's sort of, um, that is, um, it's quite alarming, it is. you know, to be, to be honest. And um, even um, road transportation, you know, within, you know, interstates, within the interstate is also quite expensive. Yeah. Um, and, you know, for also insecurity reasons, that's why a lot of, you know, people, you know, would rather even go, you know, by air. And if it is this expensive, well, that's what's pegged at this rate, uh, well, you that would, is not encouraging at all. And you would hope that with rates like this, the mm. service would be better. I can tell you, um, I, I know someone who waited at the airport for six hours mm. trying to get a flight to Abuja. Now, this is a flight that was booked the week before. It wasn't as if he just arrived at the airport to book a flight. Mm. He had booked it a week before, and it was supposed to take off at 6 p.m. It didn't leave till after 11 p.m. at night mm. because of delays. So if, uh, you know, added fares are not creating better services, mm. where exactly are we heading? Where exactly. Um, talking about, you know, delayed flights. Well, um, well, I guess we still have so much, but yeah. let's move on to the Punch um, newspaper. Um, making the headlines here on the Punch papers, um, uh, local government autonomy, 13 states rush to hold council polls. And um, on the riders here, Bauchi fixes local government poll for August 19. Kogi election holds October 19. And uh, Jigawa, Imo, Anambra, Abia, Katsina, Kebi, Benue sets for exercise. And just at the bottom of the paper here, one killed journalist shots in Kenya fresh, fresh okay. protests. And we have here a picture story of the um, protesters. And uh, we see a few um, military men right here. We see um, a tear gas as well, you know, in the picture story. And uh, one of the protesters here <laughs> have on his um, paper, Ruto must go. Uh, wow. Mm. Quite interesting story there. You can find more of it on page... Uh, page 25 of the paper. Um, at the bottom of the paper here, court declines MFLA's request for foreign medical trip and a crypto billionaire, technopreneur, arrested for alleged fraud, terrorism funding. And uh, that story actually trended um, last night, um, yesterday, on Twitter. Um, yes, yeah, so you can, you, um, yeah, that 
uh, you can get more stories right here on the Punch newspaper. We also have here yeah, U.S. promises timely discovery or delivery, sorry, of attack helicopters to Nigeria. And at the top of the paper here, just right at the corner, food <coughs> security. Reps invite CDS minister over ungoverned spaces. And right here, minimum wage. Labor threatens 30-day strike alleges plan to decentralize talks. Mm. And um, federal government wants 22 states of five-day massive flooding. Uh, wow, I think yeah. we should highlight yeah. on that. And yeah, I was actually going to touch on that. And uh, yeah. I would really love to see the actual states uh, that mm. are listed there. And the truth is, even when, um, even when the rains were not so heavy, there's a lot of areas right here in Lagos that experience really tough flooding situations. So the federal government warning of a five-day massive flood. Mm. It is, I, I think, um, you know, a call, a call to uh, the authorities, whoever is in charge in your local government area, call them. Let have them come clean out the, the waterways and do something about the environment before this happens, uh, especially if you experienced flooding in the last uh, month, mm. which was quite tough for people in Lagos. Yes, it, it was. And um, I know that um, the governor um, of Lagos State, um, Babajide Somolu, has also you know, reiterated the fact that um, um, on Saturdays, people should come out you know, for environmental sanitation. So that would also help to some extent, yeah. you know, reduce, you know, flooding in some areas for where, you know, their drainages, you know, are being blocked by, you know, dirt and um, whatnot. Because we also have, you know, some level of responsibility, also the government as well, but let's do our yeah. own parts as well. And then um, please, if you are cleaning out gutters mm -hmm. um, and drainages, let's not just place this uh, waste on the roads where it will just be washed back into mm -hmm. the, the drainages again. It needs to be properly, properly disposed, disposed of. Please, um, let's work together to make sure that the flooding, it doesn't get so bad, mm. uh, even though we, we've been given a warning that it's coming. Yeah. Okay.